Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me for Friday Sews. I'm Melanie, and this week I'm going to share some footage that I actually filmed last week, but didn't post. So last week I worked on fixing some of the things in my wardrobe that either I bought and they just, I never wore for some reason, um, yeah, I think that's what I did last week because I don't think any of them were me made. Anyway, so I did fix some things and I did it vlog style. So you kind of <laughs> come through the week with me. Um, there's a reason why I'm laughing, but you'll find out on the first day. So <laughs> anyway, but before I get on to that, I wanted to share just a few other little things that have been going on. First, I have actually tidied up my sewing room. So let me show you that. First, I got a new mirror. Isn't that nice? It's so nice. It's carved wood and it's very heavy. I just need to install it. I was going to say mount it. <laughs> That's not what I'm going to do. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, so then you can see I put my different boxes that I've organized here. These two are bra kind of fixings and underwear, lace, and things like that. These are patterns, and I actually want to get rid of some of those. I am, I'm kind of a minimalist, and I don't like to have things that I'm not going to use. When I first started sewing my own clothes. I got really excited about some patterns that I saw online. I bought them and then a few weeks later I realized these patterns are not going to look good on me. <laughs> so, and they're just not my style, some of them, you know, but when you see it on somebody else and it looks cute, you think, oh, but no. Oh, but no. So I reached out to my community, my neighborhood, to see if somebody else sews that I could pass on some of those too. Anyway, so some of those will be gone, but, and then I have some digital patterns that I haven't printed out, but you know, that's decent, I think. Um, the drawers, I have some scraps that I just don't know what to do with. I've looked up fabric recycling in my area and we don't have it, so, just not sure what to do with all of those and I'm not making a big like floor cushion before you suggest that <laughs> I'm not doing that <laughs> so I, don't know. I did I kept them I have them for right now for you know if I'm going to sew with a fabric and I just need a scrap to test the stitches or I thought well maybe I could if I made my son a stuffed animal I could stuff it with little fabric step scraps my son has a million stuffed animals because people keep giving him gifts, even though I say, do not give us anything. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I told you I'm a minimalist. This is what happens. Okay, total tangent, but I will tell my husband, tell your family, like if somebody's coming to visit, we don't need any more toys. We don't need anything. Um, my, ja my son doesn't need anything and what my husband hears which I later find out is um, maybe this book this book or this book and then I find out I'm like wait what happened to don't get us anything like my son has all kinds of stuff I, I don't know so every time I try to I have to secretly get rid of things I actually have a box <laughs> that I have to keep moving because if my husband or my son finds it, they will start pulling things out of the box and it's the giveaway box. And so I have to keep hiding it in different places and just throwing stuff in there that we don't use or don't need anymore because I do not want a house full of crap. Okay, anyway, that was a very long tangent. Let me show you my beautifully folded fabric. Oh, doesn't that look nice? It is so pretty. 
Okay, so now I will get on to the videos from last week and I will end with projects that are on my mind right now. Okay, I'll see you in a few. <laughs> hey, it is Sunday. We just got back from the pool and I told my husband, so he has a couple work trips and then he has a little like family trip that my son and I aren't going on. So because he's going to have some time where he has no family responsibility, <laughs> I told him this week he took some time off and I said, okay, I'm taking several days this week just for myself, pretend I'm not here. And I, I almost got sucked into something. So I, um, I walked into the kitchen and my son came out of the kitchen cabinet and said, I peed. <laughs> and he was naked. And then he started, which he's never done before, but you know, he's two. Anyway, so then he started splashing around in his urine. <laughs> and that's when I remembered today's my day off and I ran to my sewing room. So I am feeling very fabulous right now. <laughs> Let me show you what I'm working on first. Okay, you know when you have the, all this time, which doesn't happen very often, to sew, it's like my head is just filled with all the different projects I would like to do. But I decided that I would work on my pile of things that just need little fixes. Last week I told you guys that I'd gone through everything in my closet, figured out what didn't feel right, you know, did I just need some accessories or did something need to be sewn or whatever. So I've worked through several dresses, which I showed you last week. So what's left is that pile. And what I'm going to start with is this beautiful shirt that I made for So Frugal. Um, this is based off the Kirsten Kimono tee, which she has renamed. I'm on her newsletter and she mentioned that she renamed it and she added seam allowances to the pattern. So if you've been thinking about trying it, um, she now has some seam allowances. It is for a knit pattern or knit fabric, but I made it in a woven and I tried it in a knit and it didn't work for me, but you do you. But anyway, so it's a lovely top. The only thing it needs are some thread chains to hold the the shoulders are pretty wide, the neckline, which isn't in the original pattern, it's just how I had to adapt it. And so I want, I have this other top, this is ready to wear from Banana Republic, and I love how it has, so this is on the inside, so this is closest to the actual, the neckline. They have a snap, and then they made a little thread chain, and the other side of the snap, you put your bra in there, and you close it and it keeps your shirt in place and it keeps your bra in place. It is amazing. I have been wanting to put these on and um, Teresa from Lost My Thread did a tutorial. So I have my snaps. Oh, these are vintage. These are from my husband's grandmother. You know, I have a lot of her stuff. 70 cents. I don't know how old this is. Um, oh, it was on sale for three for a dollar. Way to go. Anyway, so I'm going to use these tiny little ones there. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get to it. See you in a little bit. All right, I finished my top. It's still Sunday. I'm just wearing it for my next project. So I followed the tutorial by Teresa. It was super easy. And there's my little snap. Anywho, so I'm excited. I'm, well, I'm not really excited, but I'm really glad that I did it. Um, okay, so my next project on the floor is this top. Now this top was my, it was a Kirsten kimono tee. I decided to make it out of knit because I liked the woven so much. And then I did not like the knit version on me. It just wasn't what I wanted. So I hacked it, I added this little ruching, I added a v-neck, which actually is quite nice. 
cut the sleeves off because they're a little bit grown on, or I guess. Anyway, but the thing with this is this. Honestly, on video, it doesn't look like that big of a deal, but when I wear it, I just, I really don't like that. So really, I just need to put a little dart in each side and that will probably work. So that's what I'm going to do. Bye. Okay, I did my darts. You can't, I'll show you, but you can't really see them, which is great. I mean, they just completely blend in and I'm really happy with how this turned out. Let me see if I can get a shot. It's a longer shirt. There it goes. Um, but I'm really happy with it because that always bugged me and that's why I didn't wear this shirt. <laughs> anyway, so let me show you what's next. I'm very excited about all I'm getting done right now. Okay, so this is a ready to wear top that I have had for a while and I don't really like the fit of the sleeves. So this is the actual sleeve. And what I'm wanting to do is make it shorter like a little cap sleeve because I just like the look. I tied it in a knot. It's a pretty long shirt. Um, I like the look of the shorter sleeve on me. So that's what I'm going to do. I have it in orange and I also have a white one. So I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, I'm done with the white one. I did it first. I really like the sleeves now. I also ended up taking in half an, uh, no, a full inch on either side um, and tapering that down. So I feel like the shape is a lot better. Before it just felt like there was too much fabric, but because it's a rayon jersey and it's actually it has a tag that says, okay, I'm gonna mispronounce this, but Oecotex certified. So I thought that was pretty cool. Anyway, um, I wanted, I don't want it super clingy because you know, rayon jersey shows everything. So anyway, I really like how that looks. And then I ended up cutting off three and a half inches at the bottom. And I did like <laughs> the laziest hem ever. <laughs> Cause I, I was thinking, oh, let's see. I'll probably want to put my knit interfacing or knit stay tape or whatever you want to call it in the hem. So it turns up really nicely. And I just, I was so done with this shirt. So <laughs> don't tell anybody, but what I did was I cut off, I'll show you on the orange one. I haven't, I think I'll do a real hem on this, on the orange one, um, probably without the interfacing because I think I just need that on the cotton jersey to keep it from rolling up. But I think lighter weight jerseys, I don't really need it. I'll see. Um, anyway, okay, so what I did, so this is the real hem, right? I cut it with a half inch of the fabric on top. Then I cut an additional two inches of my fabric off. And then I just reattached it. <laughs> and actually, if you didn't know, let me show you. If you didn't know, so I cut it more to hit. This shirt is so ridiculously long. I don't know who's, let me try to get this knot out so you can see. This is the same shirt. See how long this is? It's mid thigh. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, let me show you my secrets. Okay, there's, this is just a watermark just now from the iron, but I mean, you can't really, it looks fine. And nobody would be able to know, but it was a total lazy hem. But now, oh, I think I just showed you. Yeah, so this is the back, right? I need to chop that off. That's the extra there. Anyway, so I'm going to chop off that extra on the hem and do the orange one. <laughs> I'm still um, binge watching sewing vlogs right now, or sewing, yeah, videos. And right now I'm on Lost My Thread. So I'm doing a bunch of Teresa's vlogs. Thanks, Teresa. All right, I'm gonna go finish this. 
I finished my orange top. So I did the same things, cut this. This time I did a real hem and it actually took just as much time as my cheater hem. <laughs> and I also took the excess fabric in on the side. So let me show you what it looks like. There. So I feel like this will look really cute with uh, my skirts that I have. And this is a good color for me, but because this, the shirt was so just oversized, it just felt big on me, I didn't like wearing it. So I will actually wear it now. It wasn't the most exciting sew. So. <laughs> Those two shirts, I was like, the whole time. <laughs> Uh, even with my sewing vlogs that I was watching. It was, um, but anyway, I'm really glad that I have it because now I have two new shirts to wear. This is my next thing that needs to be fixed and I'll, I have a little video so you can see it full length. This is a dress that I got from TJ Maxx oh, over a year ago, a couple years ago. And I really haven't worn it. I bought it because I adore this fabric. So it has little beachy scenes. I love the colors. I just, I love the fabric. And this is a viscose fabric. It feels wonderful in the summer. And today, actually, we are under an extreme heat advisory. It says it's going to get up to 105 to 100 and eight degrees Fahrenheit. So yeah, we need light and floaty things. The problem is actually two things. So first off, let me lower you a little bit. I have already taken out a lot from the side seams. Now it fits okay on my bust, but it's just big everywhere. Um, it looks better with this little tie belt that it came with, but I feel like it's too much with these really cute tassels and a tie belt. It's like tie tie and even like putting it to the back. Hold on, how is that? I don't know. But the big issue is this. On both sides, it really shows my bra. A while ago, I looked up some videos on tailoring. Now, adjust um, alterations for this kind of thing. And what they said was the way to fix it was to add a little dart. So I think that the problem is I just have to not take any out of the bus because it fits, but if it gets smaller, it won't. <laughs> so I think that I might just add a little one inch dart to take care of that. That actually looks really good. And then I was talking with my husband and one of the suggestions he had um, was to take off these ties. And luckily this is finished on the inside. It's a very nicely made dress. Uh, take off this, which I do like that cleaner look. Maybe add these to the belt, which without all the stuff going on here, I don't mind the belt. And I think that might look nice. Now without the belt, it is a tent kind of look, which is just not me. I don't feel comfortable like that. So that's what I'm going to be working on next. Okay, it is finished and I really like how it turned out. Um, I'll show you the full length in just a minute, but what I ended up doing instead of the darts, oh, so see, no bra. By the way, it is late here now and we are all getting ready to go to bed. <laughs> anyway, we were just sitting outside on our lounger watching the moon right outside our backyard. We have the just best shot of the moon and it is big and round tonight. Um, I don't know if it's technically full, but it's almost full and it was just beautiful. Anyway, so what I ended up doing is lifting up this part. So taking away, uh, I ended up angling it. So I took off, I think, oh, an inch and a half on this side 
and angled it to three inches on the outside. And I cut along the original seam and I did a little French seam, but it is still a little bulky, but it's finished nicely. It's only bulky right here. So then I hand stitched that part down to make sure that that would stay down. But this dress has such nice finishings that I didn't want to just make a hack job of it. So I'm glad that I took the time to enclose those seams. Plus it's viscose, right? Okay, so let me show you. Oh, by the way, this is a brand called Beach Lunch Lounge. And when I checked a while ago, they still had this dress on their website. Um, if you love the fabric like I do, you can see I did take off the ties here. I just cut them off and I haven't put the tassels on the main belt yet and I don't know if I'm gonna bother although they are pretty cute so I might <laughs> but anyway yeah so I feel like today I did really well I got what the orange shirt the white shirt this dress the green shirt and the orange with oranges on it so many new pieces for my wardrobe that I will enjoy and I'm really really excited about my progress all right have a great night Bye. Do you notice I'm wearing the shirt I altered? I've worn it a couple times since I fixed it and I've also worn that gorgeous sailboat dress so I am thrilled that I took time to do that. The next thing on my list is I actually would like to sew some underwear and that got me thinking well really I would like to make matching underwear and bra sets. I went down the rabbit hole looking for, looking at different patterns, trying to figure out which one I wanted to do. And the thing is, I wear a lot of knit tops. So most of the really popular bras have a lot of seam lines in them. And I don't like that. I like the idea of it and when I look and I see these gorgeous bras that people have made, I want them. <laughs> but when I think about what I'll actually wear, I just don't think it's going to be those. I don't think, you know, I don't, if I have lace on a bra, I want it on the side or somewhere that doesn't show my, through my shirt and make it look all bumpy. I don't like that. Uh, so anyway. So I kind of was going through this whole thing and unsure of what materials I would need because I was unsure of what kind of bra that I wanted to try making. And meanwhile, I did try a pair of underwear that is great. It's the Sozo Undies pattern. I love those. I did one pair last night. I finished late last night and wore them to bed <laughs> because they were so comfortable. So that's why I'm not showing you them right now. <laughs> I did also finish my bathing suit from the other week. And I've worn it several times to the pool. It works just fine. There are some changes that I would make to it, but I can still show it to you. Hold on. Okay, here is my bathing suit. Here's the top. Um, just has an underband tie strap. And so the original pattern is McCall's 5400. Let me grab that. You see this one. But I made a lot of changes because it has just a hook at the back and then uh, I think it's just one strap that goes all the way around the shoulders and I wanted something adjustable so I made those into long straps and I put two, like I kind of made it a little tube so it, you know, you could tie it and it wouldn't show the underside of the fabric. I also used it as a base for the bottoms, but I totally changed the shape of the bottoms. So really 
just use a pair of underwear that you like <laughs> for the bottom. So anyway, this is the top. Um, and well, let me just show you, then I'll tell you the things. Maybe I should put this down a little bit. All right, so here are the bottoms. I kind of made them little hipster bottoms. But the bottoms fit great, and they fit a lot better than my first attempt at bathing suit bottoms. I just did a much better job with the elastic, so I'm really glad about that. Let me change, and I'll tell you what I would do differently on the top. All right, here's my top. What I would do differently is first I would put some power mesh in it. I have heard that's a good idea for support, so that's what I would do. It is lined, but it's just regular swimsuit lining. The other thing is I forgot to add my swimsuit cups in like I forgot to sew them to the lining I went ahead and attached the lining so I ended up having to this is temporarily still open I sewed it up and then I added a different cup so I'm kind of going through different cups to try to figure out which one I like the look of better um, so that's why that looks all jaggedy but I would sew it to the lining next time and then have power mesh and then have my main fabric that's what I would do I'm, this fits great and it's fine, but that's what I would do differently next time to just add a little bit more support. The other thing I would do on the straps is I think I would add some elastic in the straps to give it a little more resistance and support there as well. Plus, I would double down on my stitching because if I pull it really tight to try to get more support, my stitches pop. I have a regular sewing machine and I heard them this morning when I went to tie the back a little tighter, it went rip and I inspected. I can't see a hole, but you know one's coming. Oh, is that it? Wah, wah. I mean, you wouldn't really be able to see it, but so that is something I would do differently. But all in all, for my first time doing a bathing suit top, I have something that is wearable, that looks good, that feels good, it doesn't fall off, it has survived uh, my toddler, <laughs> and I don't think anybody would think that this was something I made myself. So I definitely feel like it's a good first attempt I hope you've had fun with me for Friday Sews. Thank you so much for joining me and thank you for to Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room for starting this hashtag and for everybody who posts a sewing blog. Thank you so much because you keep me company when I'm sewing or when I'm just, oh, this week I, I did a workout and I had the workout on my computer on silent and I had a sewing blog going so it kind of kept my mind occupied away from the pain. So anyway, <laughs> I hope you have a great week and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.